pleasure again. Uh, welcome to the third of my daily tip videos. Thanks to the Cape Town Music Academy. Uh, it seems that the, the theme that's been on my mind this week as I've prepared to record these videos has really been around uh, the idea of how to keep going as an artist. What can I do to ensure that I keep enjoying what I'm doing, keep having fun, that I stay productive, that I stay uh, on the cutting edge, that I keep growing, that I keep pushing. Uh, and on, along those lines, I thought I would talk a little bit about developing your artistic identity. And today I want to uh, present a challenge to you or a question to you. And that is that if I met you in the street and we struck up a conversation, and I asked you, what do you do? And you said, oh, I'm a musician. Uh, or specifically, I'm an artist. And I said, oh, interesting. What do you play? What is your sound? What does your stuff sound like? Would you be able to answer that question? Now, I know for some of us, we don't specifically think of ourselves as artists. It might be that you're a, a session musician or that you operate in a, in a particular field that doesn't necessitate you to think of having your own voice as a, as, as a musician or producer or whatever. But uh, it might be interesting to you to, to try this because you might discover that actually this is an important thing for you to figure out. But yeah, my, my challenge is can you answer that question in one sentence? And a suggestion that I have, you don't have to go about it this way, but one way to do this might be to try to think of two artists that might be very different, but that have elements of what they do that represent what you do or that, what you're trying to do. So they could be, you know, a country artist and a hip hop artist, and your music lies somewhere between what those two artists are doing, or a, a jazz musician and a rock musician or whatever. Um, and really the purpose of this is twofold. One is that if you are in that situation where someone's asking you, what do you do? If you're able to answer them uh, in one sentence, if you're able to say to them, well, you know, my stuff sounds somewhere, it sounds kind of like a mix between this artist who you might know and this artist who you might know. And uh, it just means that that person has something to, to hold on to or to grab onto to be able to go, oh, that sounds really interesting. I'm going to check that out. What's your, you know, YouTube page? What's your SoundCloud page? Um, whatever it may be. And it's just a way to connect with someone without having to get into an extended conversation about the, you know, philosophical and existential reason why you make art. And it just to be able to say to them, my music sounds like this, check it out. And it's just a way to be able to I guess build a fan base just for people to be able to latch on to what you do. And I think it helps for yourself. You know, when when I sort of made a bit of a transition from being primarily a session musician to really starting to operate more as an artist, as a as a an original music performer, this was important for me to be able to answer that question. And uh, it helped me to clarify for myself in the universe of possible directions that my music could go into. You know, when I decided to release music, to produce, finish, produce, release music, it just helped me to be able to go back to that kind of, uh, kind of commitment I made to myself that, oh yeah, this is really the sound that I'm after. Um, and I hope that this is helpful for you uh, wherever you're at in your journey as an artist, I hope it helps you to uh, give some thought to these things. And I hope you guys are keeping really well. Stay safe.